Hello there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the IM326 Extra Practice Number 4 Solutions. And this one's got a puzzle that goes with it involving King Kong, so let's take a look at that. So here's our puzzle. We're trying to solve the riddle of why did King Kong eat a truck? So this looks like a, a crazy looking puzzle here, but let's figure out what they want us to do. Um, so we have to circle the appropriate number letter pairs in each column and then write the letter in the matching numbered box at the bottom of the page. Hmm, okay. So basically, we, we're looking through this first column. We need to circle the ones that are true. And then that'll tell us what letters to put in which boxes. Um, so for example, if I decide that this 8S is actually a true statement, um, we'll, we'll figure that out later, but if it is, then I would put S in box number 8 down here. So that's for the first column. For the second column, um, we have to circle each of these that's actually a trinomial square. Um, so something that can be factored into something plus something in a parentheses squared. Um, so we'll do those when we get there. Let's start with our first column and, and get to the bottom of this mystery. Okay, so we're in our first column looking at our first problem, which is problem 8-S. So for each of these, we're going to see if the statement is true. If it is, then we'll actually put this letter in this number in the boxes below. If not, we'll just move on to the next problem. So x plus 2 squared. Um, so using my uh, shortcut here, I would square the first thing, multiply these and double it, and square the last thing to expand these out. And I'm going to do that on all the problems. So first thing squared is x squared. Multiplying these together is 2x. Double that is 4x, positive 4x. And then squaring the last thing, I get 4. This matches up with what we see up here. Um, so I'm going to put an S then in box number 8, which is right there. All right, let's try out this next one. Uh, a minus 5 squared. Square the first thing, I get A squared. Multiply these and double it. Uh, let's see, A times negative 5 is negative 5A. 2 times that is negative 10A. And then squaring the last thing gives me a plus 25. So this is a true statement up here, which means we're going to put E in box number 13. So we've already got two of these done. Now I'm on to 10-A, U plus 8 squared. Square the first thing is U squared. Multiplying these and doubling it, uh, 2 times 8U is going to give me plus 16U. Squaring the second thing gives me 64. This looks to be a true statement as well. So we're going to go with an A in box number 10. Three in a row. Let's keep it going. Okay, so M minus 4 squared. Square the first thing is M squared. So far, so good. Multiplying these together is negative 4M. Two times that is negative 8M. And then 4 squared is 16. So this 16 versus 8 doesn't match up. Uh, this is actually false, which means that we, we can't put any letters anywhere. We have to move on to the next one. Let's take a look at problem 18-G. So squaring the first thing, 3x squared is 9x squared. And then multiplying these together is going to be 3x. Double that is po positive 6x, so that matches up. And then 1 squared is actually positive 1. So we have a true statement there, which means I'm going to put G in box 18 right there. Alrighty, for 14-D, we're looking at 5t minus 2 quantity squared. 5t squared is going to be 25t squared. 5t times negative 2 is negative 10. 2 times that is negative 20t. There's a t in there. Uh, and then 2 squared is positive 4. So that matches up. That's a true statement. So let's put a d in spot number 14. Now we're looking at 4 dash p. So 2b plus 3 squared. 2b squared is going to be 4b squared. 2b times 3 is 6b. 2 times that is positive 12b. And then 3 squared is plus 9. Not plus 6 like they had in the statement here. So that's actually false what they wrote. A little bit of a mistake there. Um, so we don't get anything out of this one. We move on to the next. Now we're on 20-a. So 2n plus 7 squared. 2n squared is going to be 4n squared. 2n times 7 is 14n. 2 times that is plus 
uh, 28n, so that matches. And then 7 squared is 49, so we have a true statement, which means 20 is going to be a right there. Let's look at 2 dash e. Uh, uh, let's see, 10d, if I square that, that is 100d squared, so that matches up. 10d times negative 4 is negative 40d. 2 times that is negative 80d. And then 4 squared is 16. So we have a match there. Another true statement. So that means 2 is going to be e. So that was our first letter all the way on this end. Let's see what's going on with 5 dash k. 8x squared is uh, 64x squared, not 16x squared. So this is already false, but let's just keep doing it. Let's finish it out. Uh, 8x times negative 1, that's going to be negative 8x. Double that, we get negative 16x. So that did actually match. Uh, 1 squared is positive 1. So it was this first part that makes this false, which means we just move on. 7 dash r, we've got 4w plus 5 quantity squared. 4w squared is going to be 16w squared. 4w times 5 is 20w, times 2 is going to give us 40w, and then 5 squared is 25. The 20 and the 40 are mismatched there, so this is a false statement, and it's uh, nothing gained on to the next. For 4-L, we have an interesting situation, x squared minus 3, quantity squared. So we've got some double squaring going on. Uh, x squared, if I square that, remember we are multiplying the exponent by 2, so that's going to be x to the fourth. Now we've got these things multiplied to get me negative 3x squared. Doubling that, I get negative 6x squared. And then 3 squared is going to be 9. So that matches what they set up here. It's a true statement. So that means then that 4 right here is going to be L. For this next one, 11 dash T, we've got K squared plus 9 quantity squared. K squared squared, uh, that's going to be K to the 2 times 2, so K to the 4th. Then we've got 9K squared if I multiply these, and then double that gives me positive 18K squared. And then 9 squared is going to be 81. This is actually pretty close, except this was, they gave us a negative here when it should have been a positive 18K squared. So false statement, on to the next. For 5 dash W, we have 2A plus B quantity squared. 2A squared is going to be 4A squared, so that matches. Then we uh, multiply these to get 2AB, and we have to double that for 4AB, positive. B squared is B squared, there we go, so that all matches up true statement. Uh, so that means that 5 is going to be W, so there we are, W. Now we're taking a look at 15-A, 3U minus 2V quantity squared. 3U squared is 9U squared. 3U times negative 2V, that's negative 6UV. Doubling that, we get negative 12UV. And then 2V squared is 4V squared. Everything matches up like they said it would, so that's also a true statement. Uh, so 15 then is going to be A. For 6 dash E, we have 8A plus B quantity squared. 8A squared is going to be 16A squared, or not 16, uh, 64A squared, so it matches what they said there. Then we have uh, multiply these together to get 8AB. 2 times that is 16AB. And then we have B squared for the end. Um, pretty close, but they had 8 instead of 16 for that middle term. They forgot to double it, um, so that's going to be false. Next one, 1h, one looks a little crazy. So we've got c squared minus 6d squared, all of that squared. c squared squared is c to the fourth. If we multiply these, it's going to be negative 6c squared d squared. And then if I double that, I have negative 12c squared d squared, which matches what they had. And then finally, 6d squared, if I square that, we have 36d to the fourth, positive. Everything matches up, so that actually was a true statement, which means 1 is h. Here we go with 21-i. So we have 2x plus, or 2xy minus 5 quantity squared. 2xy squared is going to be 4x squared y squared. And then if we multiply these, that's negative 10xy. If I double that, I get negative 20xy. And then 5 squared is going to be 25, positive. 
um, pretty close, but they had a 10 instead of a 25 for that last term, so this is false. For the next column of problems, we're basically looking at each of these things and seeing if they're actually a, a squared binomial, a trinomial square. So to test this out, I'm going to assume that I do have a trinomial square, and I'm going to try to treat it like one when I factor it. So I'm going to square root the first and last terms, put those in a squared parentheses with the sign of the middle term, and then I'm going to multiply the, the two terms out and double it to check it and make sure that it actually works. Um, so I'll show you on this one. Square root of n squared is just n. Square root of 9 is 3. Middle term's positive, so this would be 9 or n plus 3, parentheses squared. And now to check this, I'm going to do 2 times n times 3. Basically multiply these and double it. So 2n times 3 gives me 6n, which matches what we have here. Um, so this means that 6 then is going to be a. So they're going to put an a there. This is a yes, put an a right there. For 11-n, we've got this trinomial. If I square root the x squared, I've got x. Square root of 49 is 7. Middle term's negative, so this would be minus 7 quantity squared. And then if I do 2 times x times negative 7, that comes out to negative 14x. So that matches the middle term that they gave us here. So this is a yes. And we can put n in box 11. Now we're on to problem 3-r. So square root of the first thing is a. Square root of my final term is 2. Middle term's positive, so plus 2 parentheses squared. And then if I multiply this out and double it, 2 times a is 2a times another 2 is 4a. That's not the same as 2a. So that's a no, which means I can't do anything with this letter. I just move on to the next problem. For 7-y, let's square root that first term. So that gives me a c. Square root of the last, square root of 1 is just 1. Uh, middle term's positive, so plus 1, parentheses squared. We've got 2 times c times 1 for our check here. Uh, that's just 2c. That matches what they had for a middle term, so this is a yes. And that means we're going to put y in spot number 7, right there. We're on to 12-b. Square root of the first term is k. 25 square root is 5. Uh, middle term's negative, so we have minus 5, parentheses squared. For our check, we've got 2 times k times negative 5. 2k times negative 5 is negative 10k, not negative 5k. So this is a no, and we can't do anything except move on. For 21-c, we've got the square root of x squared, which is x. Square root of 36 is 6. Middle term's negative, so minus 6, uh, squared parentheses. For the check, we have 2 times x times negative 6. 2x times negative 6 is negative 12x, which matches what they have here, so that's a yes. And that means 21 is C. Problem, we have a chance to fill something in for spot A, or spot 3 rather. Let's see if this works out. Uh, square root of 4t squared is 2t. Square root of 9 is 3. And then we have a middle term that's positive, so we have a plus 3, parentheses squared. For the check, 2 times 2t times 3, uh, that's going to be 4t times 3, which is going to be 12t. That matches what they've got. So that means that, yes, 3 is a. Let's take a look at 12-t. Square root of 81x squared is 9x. Square root of 1 is 1. Middle term is negative, so we have minus 1 parentheses squared. And then for the check, 2 times 9x times negative 1. That's going to be uh, 18x negative, which matches what they had. So that means that 12 is going to get a t. Let's look at 17-l. Square root of 4m squared is 2m. Square root of 16 is 4. Middle term is positive, so positive 4, parentheses squared. For the check, 2 times 2m times 4. That's, uh, let's see here, 4m times 4, which is 16m, not the 8m that they promised. Uh, so this is a no, and we just move on.
If we go with 16-B, square root of 9W squared is 3W, square root of 16 is 4, negative middle term means negative 4, squared parentheses. For the check, we have 2 times 3W times negative 4. 2 times 3W is 6W. 6W times negative 4 is negative 24W, which matches what they've got. So we found another one. 16 is B. Now we look at 9-F. Square root of 25T squared is 5T. Square root of 9 is going to be 3. Negative middle term means we have a minus 3 parentheses squared. For the check, 2 times 5t times negative 3. That's going to be uh, 10t times negative 3, so negative 30t. That does not match the negative 45t that they had here. So this is a no, and we check out the next problem. Let's take a good look at 22-d. We have a chance to get the last letter here. So we have square root of 4x to the 4th. That's going to be 2x to the 2nd. We're dividing the exponent by 2. And then square root of 1 is 1. Middle negative, middle term is positive, so that's going to be a plus 1, parentheses squared. Now let me multiply these and double it for the check. So 2 times 2x squared, that's going to be 4x squared. The 1 doesn't change anything. That does not match the 8x squared that they had, um, so that's a no, and it's on to the next. Let's look at 9w now. So square rooting a squared gives us a. Square root of b squared is b. Middle term is positive, so plus b, parentheses squared. Multiplying all this out with a 2, we have 2 times a times b. That is 2ab. Uh, so this is a yes. And you might have actually recognized this is the formula that we use for a, a trinomial square. Um, so in any case, we're going to put a w in spot number 9 right there. And we're getting there. We only have one, two, three spots left. Okay, we have another shot at putting something in spot 22. It didn't work last time, but let's see if this one does. Square root of 4m squared is 2m. Square root of 25n squared is going to be a 5n. Positive, because our middle term is positive. And if I multiply all this out, 2 times 2m times 5n. This is going to be 4m times 5n. That's going to be 20mn. That matches what they've got. So this is a yes, and 22 is K. We finally got that one. Let's take a stab at 19-L. Square root of 9A squared is 3A. Square root of 9B is 3B. Negative middle term means a negative 3B squared parentheses. And then for the check, 2 times 3A times negative 3B. This is going to be 6A times negative 3B. That's negative 18AB not negative 27AB, so that's a no. Nothing happening with this one. Take a gander with 17-I. Square root of 100U squared is going to be 10, uh, 10U. Square root of 9V squared, that's going to be 3V. Negative middle term means we have a minus 3V, parentheses squared. For my check, 2 times 10U times negative 3V, that's going to be 20U times negative 3v is going to be negative 60 uv. That matches what we've got up here. So let me put an i in spot 17. For this next one, we have 8-e as the problem. So right away, since if, if you actually got 8-s correct way back in the day, um, you realize that it can't be s and e at the same time. So this is probably going to come out false. But let's just do it out and see what happens. So square root of 100a squared, that's 10a. Square root of 4b squared is 2b, positive because our middle term's positive. Multiplying this out with a 2, 2 times 10a is going to be 20a, times 2b is going to be 40ab. And that is different than the 20ab, so indeed, this is not a trinomial square, and it's on to the next problem. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, I don't know that there's any other problems out there. It's either M or nothing, so let's give it a shot. So square root of the first thing, that's going to be a 3x squared. Square root of y to the fourth is going to be y squared. Middle term's positive, so we have a plus y squared, parentheses squared. And then if I multiply these and double it, 
2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. So we have 6x squared y squared for the whole thing, which matches the middle term they gave us. So this is a yes. And we can finally fill in that last spot, 19, with an m. We actually have to go through and uh, figure out the words here that solve this riddle. Why did King Kong eat a truck? So I think the first word is he. And then it looks like always is our next word. And then I see W-A-N-T-E-D, so I, I think that's wanted there. A, I see the word big, and then the last word is Mac. He always wanted a Big Mac. Oh, kind of like a, a hamburger, but a, a Mac truck is also a kind of truck. Very nice. Okay, till next time, Mr. Sutton signing off.